before the oath ceremony, um, the actual test that I had to study for, I'm in this fucking Captain America shirt that I found <laughs> in the boys section. That is awesome, by the way. That is awesome. Found in the boys section at Walmart. Some irony. Like I'm like maybe I'll like maybe I'll maybe I will pass because I'm wearing this Captain America shirt, <laughs> and I'm like. I like saw my friend Bailey that morning. I'm like, what do you think? And she's like, that is one patriotic Asian. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. you're right, bitch. Like, I'm going to pass this. She had like. So you, you wore a. It, you, wait, two of my right. tests. <laughs> two of the tests that they gave me. I'm in a Captain America shirt from the boys section in Walmart. And I'm just like still ready. Like I'd taken like so much Adderall. I'm like, I'm like, lay it on me. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. And like, they're like, okay, first question. Um. What year was the Declaration of Independence signed? I'm like, 1776, go ahead, next one. <laughs> and they're like, what is the current um, the current president's dem- um, political party? And I'm like, Democratic, next. And they're like, oh, damn, this girl's good. <laughs> like, she's good. <laughs> and they're like, uh. Did you hear that? that? You hear that? She was quick. Yeah, she's quick. Yeah. And they're like, what else? What else can we ask her? They asked me, I can't remember the third question. I think it was like, um. It was something like silly because there was this full book of things I had to learn. Like my friend Bailey had done flashcards all night. There was like 150 flashcards and they literally asked me those two and like another one. And they were supposed to ask five, but they're like, this girl obviously knows her stuff. And then the next question was um, they're like, okay, let's move on to the written part of this. We're going to tell you a sentence and then you write it out. And they're like, the elephant <laughs> is at the circus. <laughs> well, I mean, what? You, were, you were here since one. I'm sure you I can know. Do that. So I'm just like, the elephant is at the circus. And I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, very good. Oh, like they would say very it to well. you orally yeah, and they then they orally, wanted. Yeah, it's like oh, the oral. oh, I thought it was a riddle. I'm like, what does no, that have written. to do? Like, I know I mean, Grant has a pretty. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't what? need a bio. I need, I need <laughs> a bio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that. <laughs> what are you talking about, my, what? No, I'm just saying you have a pretty intricate bio. Yeah. yeah. My bio is buddy. <laughs> Looking for a cuddle buddy. <laughs> We're not <laughs> starting that's, that's this That's the off. other grade. Oh, that <laughs> should be the starting topic. No. no yeah, it should let's, be. Get it, <laughs> let's get it out in <laughs> the open. No, definitely. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> I, I should definitely be the starting I, topic. Dude, okay, I thought one of you would like be at least sneaky about it somehow, like kind of weave it into conversation, but okay. that was too fast. You're flattered. <laughs> yeah, come flattered on Flattered slash violated. Which Grant's been Grant has been yeah it started it's going <laughs> oh okay Grant has been catfished yes not not has been catfished he is the not he's the victim he's not the catfish he's the hook he's, he's the hook yeah, in the that's catfish good, yeah. that's what yeah. it is I like that that's been yeah. a very interesting start to the fall semester yeah <laughs> is that is that the, like the technical term I no I have no, no idea I just made that up I like that yeah, yeah right he's the hook cool he's the hook. well I mean no no TM would that really make sense though because the catfisher is the one that's the fake person. That's one person. Is this on so Urban up. Dictionary? Well, I think... <laughs> I don't know, but I I'm d- saying if, like, the catfish <laughs> wouldn't be the... W- that'd be the one biting the hook, almost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the person biting the hook is these girls... Or is he the bait? ...that dude matched with... Yeah, so the bait or the hook. The dumbass is using my name. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> he, <laughs> he is the fisherman, and yeah, the girls yeah, that he matches yeah, with yeah. are the catfish, and then you are the hook slash the bait. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We just we just I'm saw following. catfishing. I didn't all know right? there was so many. There was so much vocabulary to the concept regulate. Of well, we haven't solved the actual. You don't problem need a yet. license to. We have not solved the problem. Yeah, he's still out there just swiping. Do you away. have girls? You've been dropped downstairs before. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. It like. How many flights? Well, it was more of like a gradual decline to the ground, because okay. I was like, "You're going to drop me," and he was like, "No, I'm not." I'm like, just, just. Like at the bottom of the stairs. No, like in the middle. Oh. It was like like a flight of stairs like that. It was But you didn't like roll down the stairs. No. Okay. I just sat on a step and said, Go get somebody stronger than you and he was like, Okay. And he did. What a belittling statement. Go get somebody stronger than you, peasant. Peasant. Go get somebody stronger than you, you fucking pussy. That's <laughs> that's just those are strong words. I like that. I that's mean hilarious. it's like ha ha. It's my fuckboy laugh. I've been working on it. Yeah, like good I've, one. Thank you. I've literally been working on that laugh. It's good. Ha 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 ha. I don't think that's fuck boy at all. <laughs> what? It, that doesn't sound a little like that doesn't resemble fuck boy at least a little bit. No. 
What what it is it? What's awful. a fuckboy laugh? I don't think there is a fuckboy laugh. Fuck oh, there's totally like, a fuckboy you know, laugh. They just ignore you. That's kind of what a fuckboy does. So that's what a fuckboy is to you? Yeah. Just somebody who ignores you? Just a jerk, I guess. Okay. I kind of see that more with, like, what a douchebag would be. Yeah, I guess so. Do you think douchebag and fuckboy are synonymous? Because I don't see them as synonymous. I mean, I think they go hand in hand. You can't really be a fuckboy without kind of being a douchebag. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah. You gotta have a little douche in you to be a fuckboy. Yeah, I agree. I feel like a fuckboy to me is, and it's probably different from like a male perspective versus a female perspective. Yeah. But I feel like what a fuckboy to me would be somebody who like doesn't hold opinions of their own. They live for partying. Like, partying's not just, like, a part of their life. It's, like, their life. Like, whatever they have to do in life, plus partying is, like, their life. That's like, their existence. Okay. And they don't they don't have very many opinions of their own. They kind of go with the crowd. That's true. That's I don't know fair. if that's what a fuckboy is to most people, but... I mean, I think they're more of, like, a crowd pleaser. Like, they don't... I agree with, like, not having their own opinions because i think they're just do being a fuck boy to get attention yeah 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 the attention variables everything <laughs> definitely I was like, when i was a kid i want to be a priest like when i was oh like, really oh when i was i mean i was really young i'd get like it's so funny like uh tortillas like from like the grocery store or something i'd get like you no know, like the little medicine cups like, when you take liquid medicine. Yeah, absolutely. I take those, flip them over, and push little holes down in, like, the tortillas and, like, serve them out to my family. Oh, <laughs> oh. the body of Christ. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And then, that's and then so I funny. I grew up, and I was like, my dad was <laughs> like, yeah, you weren't going to be a priest. I knew. <laughs> He's like, you like girls too much. I was like, I was like yeah. That was, that was, I'm talking, like, this was, like, six seven eight nine years old i was doing this but it was just like it just faded that's hilarious yeah, yeah. body of christ before <laughs> and, and you lead the the sister. family prayer as yeah. well get some fruit juice like some fruit punch poured in a cup this is the blood of christ <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah just the whole shebang throw a blanket over my shoulders <laughs> have like a robe on <laughs> that's funny that's hilarious yeah i was i was kind of uh because I also grew up and I grew up Lutheran, so I mean yeah. that's a denomination of Protestant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I I was kind of not the rebel, but I was definitely ridiculed for not going to church because we had really? church attendance. I don't what? know if your school did this, but yeah, we had church attendance. Oh my god! Yeah, like and I, I always like I had to lie at points because it was like ridiculous. I never I never went growing up. On like, and, Sunday. Yeah. Well, like we come to class on Monday, yeah, and they'd be like, "Okay, who went to church? Did, Did you, go, you to guys church? go to church weekly in school?" Uh, yeah, yeah, we also yeah, went. Dang. I think we went like every Wednesday, but like they wanted you to go Wednesday in school, and, and then also Sunday. Obviously, Sunday was like the optional one if you're going to go with your parents or not. Yeah. But I, I started to lie. I'm like, like I, I didn't go, but I'd, I'd be like, "Yeah, I went." That's so manipulative too. It's like, "Did you go to church?" It's <laughs> bizarre. What's God going to think about that? <laughs> like. I don't know. <laughs> that same school that I went to, yeah. it's Emmanuel Lutheran St. Charles. What? Oh, really? Downtown, downtown St. Charles by Main Street. Okay, yeah, I know where that is. So that that yeah. same school I went to, uh, they did not teach science. What? They did not teach science. They pretty much like replaced science with religion. That's bizarre, dude. I think science and religion should go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, That's I agree. That's one of my biggest things. It's like people look at like Earth. They're like, oh, God created Earth, this and that. And like, this is something I have against science. Is like. They talk about the Big Bang and how there's no way there could be a God because we know for a fact the Big Bang happened. And I'm like, okay, I, I'm a, that's another thing. I'm a strict believer in God. Like, I believe in God for sure. I just don't believe in the teachings and, like, the stuff I've learned. And it's just like you're just sitting there and you're like, well, okay, if God's supposed to be the Almighty, why would he have just created the earth? Like, you're going to say the Big Bang happened. Okay, what started the Big Bang? Like, two chemicals combust, blow up. Who, who put the chemicals there? Like, what, they didn't just come from nothing. Like, because you know you learn in science, energy can't be created or destroyed. So it's just like, where did everything come from? It's like, you don't have to scale it down to earth for me. Like, I look at God as he made everything. It's like, that's why 
I feel like there's so much more for like humans to do and that involves science. And I think that's so weird that religion and science are so separated. I think that's bizarre, but that's just me. Yeah, why not why not try to own it? Why not try yeah. to like reconcile the two? Why why would you want to like I'm not dogging anyone that's like doesn't believe in God or anything. I don't care. I'm I don't you can I, no one knows what's going to happen to us. No one has any proof. So I'm not dogging anyone, but it's like why would you not want to believe that there's a purpose to life other than living and dying and being done? It's like why why wouldn't you want something else? Like 